Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts and today uh, I thought I'd do another kind of fun video where I'll kind of discuss what something kind of a, a fun kind of question that I got. Um, like I have a tourist shop here in Kilorglin that I sell my shillelaghs out of, like, you know, it's it's on the Ring of Kerry and you will get people that come in here and ask some some really unusual questions to me as a shillelagh maker like um and you you might think these are fantastical or they're trolling me or they're just messing and stuff but i swear these guys are they're dead serious you can see it in their face and you over the years you kind of know when people are plumossing you or, or plumoss means kind of just having fun with you and stuff um but i do get people that that come in asking about leprechauns um and again i think it's just tongue in cheek and you know they're they're not being serious but they you know they're they're usually you know kind of 50 plus age and you know they they want to know um you know they said i i know you know you don't want to talk about it but what's the, what's up with the leprechauns and i would just say yeah it's just just a story and it's just just a myth and they'd be like but but you know myths are always rooted in in something and it's almost like there's a conspiracy theory mentality that they've developed around leprechauns and uh i think that that's quite quite funny as well to 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 have developed um you know that that obviously there's there's a certain amount of people out there that believe leprechauns are real that leprechauns are some kind of i don't know minority group you know that are oppressed and uh you know they're they have their gold and you know that Irish people have have been mean to him over the years, or something like that. But uh, I do get people in here that asks, "Have I ever seen a leprechaun? Um, you know, where's the best place to find a leprechaun? Um, has there been any leprechaun sightings in the area?" And uh, again, you know, I wouldn't believe this and stuff until like people literally came in and and asked like more than once. Um, about this they were like you know they're they're trying to research it and it's really hard to find it because and they, they genuinely believe that you know just like like um you know like the bigfoot sightings or something like that like they 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 kind of come in with that kind of mentality so there's a whole kind of underground of these kind of leprechaun hunters i suppose or i don't even know what to call them they just want to go out there and, and find what there is about leprechauns and look the way i think about it if you want to believe in leprechauns why not? If you want to believe in, in unicorns, sure, who am I to say? Like, you know, you can believe whatever you want. Like, you know, it's 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 not affecting me or my life. And, you know, it's giving you, I suppose, a hobby there to, to go leprechaun hunting and, and something to do. There's worse things to do with your time. <laughs> you know, you could have some other bad habit or something like that. You know, researching leprechauns and trying to, to, to talk to people about that. Look, at least you go out and socialize and you get to know people. So... I kind of like, you know, if someone comes in to me like that, I'll I'll talk away to them and stuff. Like, I'm not going to belittle them if I get the feeling that they're, you know, really into it and stuff. I'll just answer their questions in a pragmatic way. I'm not going to have fun or tease them or, or anything. I'll just say, you know, I haven't seen a leprechaun. Uh, you know, I don't really think they're they're around or have been. But, you know, I said, look, s stories and legends come out of something. So who knows? And uh, usually I just kind of leave it at that. And uh, I just thought I'd share that story with you. Thank you for watching.